Ryan with uh, Silicon Dust. And so I want to just tell us the news you guys announced here about your cable card tuner. Yeah, we're uh, announcing a uh, dual tuner uh, cable card uh, HD home run model. Uh, be a uh, network attached like our previous HD home run models. We will be uh, starting a beta program up in April for people who want to give it a test out and help us uh, make sure everything's compatible for them. And how do, how do people get involved in that beta? Uh, we'll have information on our website, okay. uh, hdhomerun.com, okay. after CES. Okay. And it'll be a uh, limited public beta, so we will be accepting applications, okay. trying to get as big of a cross section of uh, cable providers as possible to make sure everything's uh, working and ready to go. Okay. Okay, and uh, this will be one cable card goes in, gets paired basically, but then it'll be two streams out, is that correct? That's correct. Uh, dual tuners, and it has a, a single uh, multi stream cable card. Okay. It's going to be compatible with uh, Windows Media Center on Windows 7. Okay. And uh, we'll be working with uh, the standard uh, extenders like the Xbox 360. And so it'll work the same now if more than one PC on the home network wants to access a tuner, it, it says this tuner's in use, and, and you kind of decide what you want to do. Right, they'll be, uh, it'll be accessible from multiple computers and they'll be able to uh, okay. work back and forth and make sure everything is uh, okay. set up in there. And um, ballpark cost on this, do you guys know? Or? Yeah, we're going to be uh, launching it for $249. Okay. And uh, we still have our uh, original products. We'll work with that. Media Center allows four tuners of each type, so you can uh, have a uh, cable card HD home run for all your cable channels, have a uh, one of the original dual tuner HD home runs for all your broadcast channels. And have Four tuners accessible and recording all at the same time. And will this um, be through the same channels that, that the current HD home runs are available? Retail stores and online? And yes. Okay. David, do you want to show us here what we've got? Sure. This is the dev board. We've got our uh, cable card here. This okay. is a real cable card. We got this from Cox Cable here. The okay. We've got uh, our tuners here. Uh, it'll be a du dual tuner model. We've got a uh, third tuner on here that's used for communication from the cable provider. Okay. Uh, regarding like authorization, channel information. Right. We've got our uh, network interface here. We have a USB port because we will be supporting the switch digital adapters okay. for those who need that from their cable company. And how will that work? I mean, will you just need one, S one adapter or is it going to depend on the cable company? It depends on the cable company okay. how it will work. Uh, the Motorola ones will support all the streams, but it should, be, it should work with just a single one for all the uh, HDMI. Okay, very good. And then uh, final form factor will be similar to your, your current products? Or? Uh, it'll be approximately the same uh, width and depth, Okay. but it will be a new design for the case. Okay. Uh, we're looking at, it's going to be a uh, metal case. Okay. Uh, we're going to be a flat top. Uh, we won't have the hump on it anymore. Uh, so. Okay. Uh, it'll be fairly similar in design. Single tuner input on the back, uh, Ethernet, USB power, right. uh, LEDs on the front right. to indicate what's going on with it. And so, uh, you know, since it's networked, I have uh, all wireless N in my house. Is that going to be sufficient, really, for pushing around HD content? It depends on the network. Uh, wireless. You get about a third of the rated bandwidth is what most people will normally see in a okay. regular use situation. Okay. HD channels run about 15 megabit each, so one channel is kind of pushing the limit of what you're going to get out of a G network. Okay. So if you are going to try wireless, we strongly recommend going with an uh, 11 in. Okay. Very good. Okay. So this is Jason Lutka with uh, with Silicon Dust, and uh, you, you guys are looking at a public beta in a few months. And yes, April. And then a few months after that, or any ideas when you might hit market with it? Later on this year. Later on, so definitely 2010 is the goal, right? Yep, okay. 2010. And, uh, and just how many of these for free are you going to give me right now? None. <laughs> okay. Do you guys have any anything else coming out? Anything up your sleeve? You can you can let the Nothing folks in the green. Can talk about okay. It. Very good. That's good to know. So, all right. Thanks, Jason. And I know the folks in the green button appreciate your efforts too. Yeah, we appreciate yours. Thank okay. You. Take care.